Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a good day, have a good night, I hope you're doing okay. I did a video recently, um, it was entitled, um, Race Loyal Black Women, and in that video I discussed, um, basically, these women are being labeled race loyal because they have nothing but, um, loyalty and devotion to the black community. That means they're devoted to their black man, they're devoted to the black community as a whole, and that includes the children as well. I don't see why that should be anything that should be, that should be ridiculed. I don't see why that's anything that should be um, something to make someone feel ashamed of. Because it's nothing to be ashamed of at all. Actually, women like that and also men like that that have that mindset and think like that. You know, they have the, the, the most respect from me. Because people that date outside of their community have no respect for themselves. Nor do they have any respect or any care for the people in their communities. They don't want to have black children. They don't care about black people. They don't want to be black. They want to be part of the dominant society. And that is what I see every day. I don't care how many times they come here and try to convince me, oh, it's because of this and because of No, no. You want to be a member of the dominant society and you believe that you've been touched by the hand of God once that white man has chosen you, once that white woman has chosen you. And that's all there is to it. When all these pro-black channels who don't really give a damn about black people are gone, speaking, you know, out their ass while taking your money, when they're done, you know, just um, talking shit on the computer, you know, just trying to hear themselves talk and become the most popular black person on YouTube, I'll still be here because as much as I do want to have more people subscribe to me, I want the message overall to be what matters. And I want black women to understand. And I'm glad that there are so many black women who are not as dumb as these fucking swirlers out here that are smart enough to realize that even though we have some really fucked up black men out here, we got some really fucked up black women out here, too. That is not the end of the world and that, you know, you'll find your king. You will find your man in the community. And if you don't find your man in the black community, you can also travel outside of the black community into another um, I should say landscape where other black people live outside of the country, but you don't have to go completely outside of your race. That's my whole point. That's all I've been ever preaching on this channel. I do so many videos about interracial dating. I'll talk so much against it that people now should already know. I do not accept it. I will never accept it. You do what you want because that's your life. And I cannot tell anybody what to do. But as far as I go, I don't embrace it. I don't endorse it. I don't live it. Okay. Another reason why some people tend to date outside their race is because if you're a black man who's looking for a black woman and you may not be the best looking black man, and she has certain kind of, um, I don't know, I don't want to say standards. If she has certain kind of, um, qualifications for a man and as, as far as looks go and you don't think you fit the bill she doesn't think you fit the bill you go on these dating sites because maybe you get desperate you go on these dating sites i've done it before i that's how I'm, i met my wife i got lucky and then you'll be a black man you go in there and you'll be bombarded by white women that actually maybe just want to sleep with you but they they make you feel like you are on top of the world because they're giving you attention you want while these black women are not giving you attention at all now, the thing is, let's not get it twisted, ladies and gentlemen. We know that many black people are still with black people, and it's not it's not going to change because, like many of my subscribers will tell you, like the statistics will show you, there are more black people being born than not being born, okay? The problem with the white people is that they're not having enough people being born. Their birth rate is going down, and their numbers are dwindling. So the best way to make their numbers go up is to start attracting black women and start attracting black men. Procreating with us will make their legacy continue. They will continue to live on if they procreate with us. That is their plan. That is why I've told you numerous times, I'm 40 years old. I've told you numerous times, I have never seen a push for interracial dating as I've seen it now. The push for interracial dating isn't because it's accepted by America. It's not because it's accepted by everybody because there are many white people out there that don't accept it. There are many black people out there that don't accept it. There are many other cultures out there that don't accept it and don't ever practice it. But the reason why white people exclusively are coming and pushing towards black people as the people that they should have sex with and procreate with is because they know that that melanin is special. And especially when it comes to the black women, because black women 
are like gods. They create life. They can give birth to numerous children. So the white man will push for that. He will push for his for his men to be seen on television and in movies and in you know these advertisements with our women. They'll push for these soap operas where the women are with us and the white man is so great that he stole the black woman away and she stays with him and they go through all the trials and tribulations and they can make it in any any capacity, any problem. They'll face it head on. They'll always win. But when they make the movies for the black man and the white woman getting together, that won't work out. And the damn sure, like I just told you right now, it's not gonna, it doesn't work out for black men and black women when it comes to television. Sadly, we've got people that have power in our own communities that make television shows, and they show us in a bad light as well. So they're not doing any favors for black people, but they're doing a lot of favors for white supremacy and the people that want to see black people break up and not be together. Okay? So... Um, I'm not fooling myself here. I know that black love exists, but I like to talk about it because everybody has a certain channel dedicated to something. My channel is dedicated to black love. My channel is also dedicated to the love I have for black women. I cannot stop loving them. I should stop loving them. A lot of people have told me because they, they don't accept, you know, a lot of things that I say. They don't appreciate me making channels to them because they didn't ask me to make any channel dedicated to them. So I should stop loving them, but I don't. I don't stop loving them because I love my women. I look at a black woman, I'm instantly attracted to her. So I can't help it. Now, of course, I'm not going to act that out because I'm a married man, but I love all black women. I do. And I can't stop loving them. And that's why I dedicate my channel to them. I dedicate my channel to all my people, really. But I do dedicate a large chunk of my channel to black women and showing them love because they need to feel love because there are too many people out here to have, you know, there's there's a lot of people out here that have agenda that have an agenda uh, towards black women. America is is so full of shit right now when it comes to black women. America wants black women to believe that they're you know I'm gonna tell you like this: black women are the best as far as I'm concerned. In my book, black women is not black women are number one. But America wants black women to believe that they are the best. Okay, even though I just said they are because we know they are. But America, I'm talking about the dominant society wants black women to believe that they accept them. They'll accept the black woman, but they will not accept the black man. The black man will never be accepted. It is a fucking ploy, ladies and gentlemen. They tried this shit with black men when they had all these television shows on back when I was a kid. When they had this token black guy with the white girl or the token black guy with the non-black woman. Now they're doing the reverse with the black woman with the, with the, with the white man exclusively. Okay. They never show our relationships working anymore. When I was a kid, we had our relationships on television shows and movies all working. We never had to worry about no white man coming in and taking our woman away. Okay. We had some white women trying to take the men away, but it didn't work out like that. Some movies did that to show, you know, because there were some men, there were men doing that. Like there's some men doing that now. But for the majority of things that we saw back when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, Black relationships worked. There was a struggle, but black relationships worked. You can't find not one good black relationship that works on television these days. If you can find it, God bless you. But the majority of these movies and television shows and these advertisements are not, you know, it's, they're not promoting black people together. They'll still promote white people together. They'll still promote Asian people together. But they won't promote black people together. They will promote a black person with a white partner or a non-black partner. It is a trick, a tactic, and a ploy. And if you don't believe me, I don't care. I know what I'm talking about. And I don't have to be an old ass man to know what I'm seeing. I see this because I know that is what is happening here. It is a push. It is an effort to make us stop loving each other. And when you look at these television shows, a lot of these little black girls are watching the Disney Channel. They're seeing all these interracial things going on. They got the gay people in the, in the cartoons now and stuff. There's a lot of stuff being pushed out there that was never pushed before. And that's why I said this world somewhere around when I was in my early 20s went a flip-flop way. And everything that was good is bad now. Everything that's bad is good. If I'm a black man promoting my women, I'm bad for that. If I'm a black man promoting black women and black men being together, I'm wrong for that. If I was a black man promoting black women and black men being together back in the 90s when I was younger in my teens, I'm okay for doing that. But now I'm racist if I'm doing that now, right? Doesn't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. 
A lot of black people are falling asleep. They're staying asleep. They're letting the agenda just indoctrinate their mind and destroy them. And they're, and they're thinking that everybody like me who is talking against interracial dating, who is talking about black first, who's talking about black love, who are talking about black women and black men being together, black uh, women and black men having family goals and having children and taking care of their community. They think that that's wrong. They think the black community is not worth saving. They think the black community is worth giving up on. People think that it's over for black people. Black love doesn't exist anymore. And that's just not true. I will never believe it because it's bullshit. And anybody, anybody that believes that is, they're, they're done. They're just done. The agenda has gotten them. It has gotten its grasp around them. And they will not get away from it. And it's terrible that this happens. But I'm calling it as I see it, ladies and gentlemen. These dating sites do not help when there are white women going after black men there are some white women who will do that and others that won't. So, and then you have some black men that want to date black women. And like I told you in that other video, some of these black women are going after white men 70-something years old. And I've seen it. I just can't put it on the screen because I can't put somebody's identity out there and then get myself in trouble. But I've seen it. I've seen it myself. It's ridiculous. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy. And I'm, I'm not even depressed it's sad that we have people that are lost. That's the thing that makes me sad in my heart, that we have lost people out there that just believe that white people are their best choice. They watch these television shows. They watch these movies. They be celebrating these interracial unions. And I don't celebrate at all. I feel sorry for the fucking black person that's in a relationship with someone of the dominant society because they ain't going to get nothing but bullshit. They're never going to win. They're going to lose every time. OK, and there's more losses and more devastation and more negative about interracial dating and there is about positives okay i don't care what person comes in with a story about oh i'm biracial this and that. i don't care i don't have no problem with biracial people but you can't tell me because i've seen too much to tell you what i know and that doesn't mean that i'm right but i've seen it so i know that it's true okay so i'm gonna end this video right now please let me know what you think as i said i'm gonna continue to promote black love I probably should give up because I'm not getting the views like all these loud speaking black people out here that have all this, um, these different stories about what's going on in the world. But hey, I dedicated this, this show to black women. I dedicated this show to, you know, to a certain type of topic. And that's what I'm going to talk about. And the people that want to listen will listen. The people that don't, don't. And it reflects it every day. I see that my views are not as good as it used to be a long time ago when I had my first channel. But at the same time, YouTube could be working against me as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I love you very much. I never have hatred in my heart for you. You black people, I love you very much. I really do. My black women, I love you. You're so beautiful. My black dudes, my black brothers out there who are doing their thing, salute. All right? The black children out there, you are our future. I love you as well. I'll talk to you next time. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you.